Annie, you're buy these tickets for me. I'll have enough money to take my wife dancing. That's what she's been hollering about. Oh, I don't know, King Dish. Uh, what is these tickets for again? Oh, Annie, they're for the ballet. Uh, you know that stuff where they all comes out there in their long underwear and start jumping all over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, something like the opera with the yelling and the screeching taken out of it. <laughs> Well, I tell you, Kingfish, uh, I don't think this is for me, because I don't like no kind of dancing that ain't got a runway. Yeah, I seen a picture of that ballet, and they had a dying swan in it. Oh, shooting stuff, huh? Oh, no, Andy. I tell you, it was a great thrill. Now, the ballet started off with this swan ballet hooing all over the sea. The ballet hooing all around the face. And all at once, she gave a kick. And that's to give the thing a bounce. And then while she's having a great time up there, all of a sudden, she doubles up. Uh, must have been a liver attack or something. And then while she's a grunting and a groaning and a hissing and a kicking, she falls down to the floor and conks out. Oh, Andy, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe I could take my gal Susie to this ballet and we could stop up some of this culture together while she's up in the balcony. Uh, how much you want for these tickets, Kingfish? Well, they uh, $2.50 a piece, uh, $5. $5? Dollars. Holy smoke, I thought you wanted something like a quarter piece for them. No, no. <laughs> Get... But Andy, say, why don't you give these two tickets to stop by and her mama? After all, they've been yelling about not going out. Let them go to the ballet. See, Andy, that's an idea. If they want to go out, tell the answer right here. And you know, a uh, thing like this will not only keep them out of the house, but it'll give my ears a rest for the evening. Hello, Sava. Well, look, honey, I got to thinking about what we were discussing last night, and I done something about it. The ballet? Why, George, I can hardly believe my ears. I always wanted to see it. Uh, is it for tonight? Yeah, honey. And they're good seats, too. Uh, row 22 and seats 6 and 8. Fine seats. Yeah, honey, and I got another little surprise for you, too. Yeah, I done bought you a genuine pigskin wallet. You can carry it in your purse. <laughs> oh, George. George, you sound like a changed man. Yeah, and I know you and your mama are going to have the time of your life. All right, dear. Goodbye. This really going to be something. Them two old hens watching a dying swan kick the bucket. <laughs> Thirty-second free train, Sergeant Downey speaking. Sergeant, my name is J.P. Thorndike. I was walking along 7th Avenue this morning when my pocket was picked. It was a pigskin wallet with $245 in it. Now, uh, have you any clues, any description, or anything like that? Well, the only thing that might help you, Sergeant, is it was a new wallet containing two tickets for the International Ballet for tonight. I even remember their position. It was row 22, seats 6 and 8. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a couple of our men at the ballet. And if those seats are occupied, we'll have the pickpocket in jail in no time at all. Yourself. Uh-uh. There they are. Can you come out here, please? <laughs> that 
Yeah, uh, the officer said he'd be right in. 
don't let him get away. Uh, yes, sir. Listen, honey, how did I know that that $5 bill was counterfeit? 